Hey, what's up guys? Haven't seen you guys for a while. Tuesday night's been missing out, I know, but uh, what we want to do is give you an update on the LTL crew and uh, where they're all at right now. So kind of go through a little recap on everybody, let you know how they've been doing. Um, Allison living here, she signed up for the Phoenix um, half marathon marathon, so she's been doing that. She's been dealing with stuff with her kids. Kid actually, one of her kids like broke his hand and all that stuff. One other kid got a concussion, so it's been kind of back and forth with there. And she's just manning the fort down at home. Um, she's come to CrossFit a couple times, so she's doing well. She's lost another like additional 10 pounds, so um, she's just hanging in there by a thread right now and just trying to push forward. And then Tyler, Tyler's been crushing it, man. The guy's been showing up to CrossFit every single day, doing his thing, um, really honing his nutrition, lost, it. I think he's in now a little over 70 pounds lost. So he's well on his way to that 100 pound mark that I can't wait. Should be about a month and a half there. I feel like the role he's going, we're gonna get there real fast. Um, and he's always crushing it, getting better every single day. Turned 26, the gym rallied behind him. We all got a birthday workout with him. And so he's been doing good, doing his job at Scorpion Tech as well, working for my friend, so he loves that. And he's down to just have to work the one job, which is really nice. Um, so he can still focus on himself and do his thing. And then um, Katie, Katie went home. She's uh, kind of struggled on up and down there a little bit. Um, she's lost weight, but she's she wants she knows she can do better, right? She holds herself to a higher standard with larger in life. And you know, she, her family kind of got in a sickness, you know, and so it kind of slowed him down, had to take him out for a couple weeks. So it's kind of been up and down a little bit um, for her of like getting into the gym and everything like that. But she's doing well, adapting to it, ready to step up a game. Kind of been in a little block because she misses, you know, misses the group. And we knew that was coming when you go home. And because it was like not the pressure there every single day to uh, be on top of you or getting weigh-ins. They weigh in every week though. They check in every single week. And uh, she's been all over the coaching program, been on our team Zooms, all that stuff. Hey, it's Katie. Just wanted to let you guys know everything's going good since I've been home. It's been um, hard at times, but um, I learned so many good things that I've not given up yet, so that's good. Um, so one of my favorite things to do is to go for a walk outside and even if it's cold it just helps clear your mind it helps to kind of reset um, how I'm feeling and it feels good even the cold fresh air feels so good so I've been doing a lot of that and then going to the gym some with my husband or with my dad and I'm so thankful for uh, my family support. Often I go to my mom and dad's house and my mom and I work out in their basement together. And so it's just been wonderful to have them. So super grateful and just trying to keep practicing everything that Bruce taught us while we were there in Arizona and still checking in with him daily. So um, can't wait to talk to you guys soon. Bye. Then Crystal's just been slaying it, doing her thing trying to get set up to work out here, um, to move out here. She's working for Erica and John, photographers that are freaking amazing. So she does that virtually right now, but we're gonna try to get her out here. And she's been working third shift in another job. So, but she's staying, the good thing about her, she's still staying committed with her water, her workouts, keeping her integrity. Um, she's only had one little like slip up, but who doesn't, you know what I mean? And that's just real life. And what I loved about it is she cleared integrity, reassess the situation, recommit. She's down over 65 pounds, so she's slaying it. What is up team Bruce? I don't know if you recognize some of those colors behind me, but I'm getting some cardio in right now. It's 20 degrees outside, so it's really cold. You could probably even see the difference in my skin color because it's so cold, but I am at Lambeau Field in Green Bay, Wisconsin. Super pumped to be getting my cardio in here today. And uh, we played today at 3.30, so it's coming up in a I don't know what time it is right now, but it's coming up within the next couple hours and uh, we're playing in Chicago today. So stadium's pretty dead, but uh, about to cream the bears. And I just want to say hello. Hope you're having a great 20, 2021. And uh, that's it for me. So go pack, go, let's do this. Hey, hey, hey guys, a little quick update. It's January, it's pretty nice. You can see the blue skies behind me. It's a nice day, it was rainy yesterday. It's gonna be rainy tomorrow. So basically, I'm still working out two to three times a day. I did my cardio program this morning. It's like a, I'm following along with the program um, that I bought. And 
Then I'm doing Spartan Stronger 21, a 21 day program. And um, now I'm off my walk. So that's pretty much what I do every day since I've been home for the most part. Two to three workouts and um, just enjoying this sunshiny, obviously sunshiny day. It's about four o'clock in the afternoon. All right, hope everyone else is doing good. So here we are folks again. You're probably sick of seeing my face, but here's me and my San Francisco Giants. Um, so choose your heart. Choose your heart today. Um, I play pickleball a couple times a week, most times with my son or with my husband, but Dawn's working and Matt, the 16 year old, wanted to take a nap. New text message from <laughs> oh, Rachel sorry. Um, so I was like, okay, well, I guess I'll go by myself. So I went and I played with some people who are like, a lot better than me but that made me better so my nervousness about going I was like I'm so glad I went so sometimes you got to play with people that are better than you for you to get better oh my gosh my nose is so red look at that oh maybe that's not <laughs> it's pretty cold out here okay it's 55 degrees that's cold for California um anyways so choose your hard people and uh don't be afraid to go out on a court step on the court literally step on a court and play some pickleball and then Lexi, of course, constantly doing it, constantly with her social media. If you don't follow her, you should, because she's constantly doing meal prepping stuff. She's down in almost to 60 pounds as well. So she's been killing it, loving her new life that she has, and just and just ready to push forward. And I love that she's always checking in with me too, and just like, this is my new life, and she's ready to come out to Arizona too and start her life out here. And it's gonna be an amazing, amazing thing. Hello, everybody. We are in the place where it all started, my little um, get ready corner. And um, today is a really special day. So today I hit a major milestone of mine and I finally hit my 50 pound weight loss goal. So I am at 52.4 pounds lost and I feel amazing. I am so proud of myself. Um, the first week being home was really, really hard. Um, you know, trying to get adjusted to not having the larger than life crew with me to do all of my workouts and just to do everything that we had been doing together um, was a big adjustment. And, you know, because we've been together for the last three months, um, crushing our goals. So now, you know, I have them through the phone, but um, I really have to rely on myself a lot more because um, my, you know, drive and my motivation and my integrity with this journey, it just can't stop you know, when I get home, it has to keep going. So this week was a lot easier. Week two, um, I meal prepped and I stayed within my containers throughout the whole week. Um, continued on with the same kind of food plan that we had been doing before. Um, and it just, I mean, it's working. So why not? So did that. Um, we started a challenge, which I think has really been helping. I've been allowing myself the chance to make sure I get enough sleep, um, that I'm drinking enough water, and that I'm staying rested. Um, I'm back to work, which is awesome. I absolutely love it. I get to be active at my job, so that's a plus. Um, and then continuing on. I know that it's not realistic and it's not ideal to continue doing as much as we were doing in Arizona because I'm working now and I have other things that are going on. However, I do know that I can maintain at least some type of um, of a similar routine to to use to keep going towards my goals. So I've been trying to do cardio every morning for at least you know an hour, um, and that's been going really well. And then at night, I try to do some kind of workout, whether it's at the gym. Or doing an outdoor workout kind of been taking advantage of the weather outside and using those exercises and um, sprint work type um, workouts that we did to kind of you know reach that second workout so super excited super pumped um ready to crush another week i'm about to meal prep and get things ready and honestly this is just the beginning, so keep looking out for Lex. Cannot wait for them to all be out here. And uh, and then we're gonna have a reunion show in February. So plan on it, and we're gonna bring them out here, do some final wins, maybe a Spartan race kind of thing. And it's gonna be an amazing, amazing experience.